Hey everyone, this is Grandpa at Grandpa's Gaming Garage bringing you a how-to video on how to complete Infrared, a Warzone 2 DMZ Season 3 mission. If you like this video and it helps you out, I appreciate it. Give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, turn your notifications on, because Grandpa's Gaming Garage is doing all the DMZ missions. Infrared is a redacted faction, Warzone 2 DMZ Season 3 mission. In it, you must reset the security system at the upload station in the external ops section. You must open the locked cache in the restricted section in the factory wing, and you must extract the Building 21 evidence from the cache. Okay, what do you need in order to load in with one you're going to want to have your good weapons because there's a lot of bad ai in this area two you want to load in with an l2 r2 security key or a skeleton key before you go in you want to make sure you have two sets of jumper cables and car batteries once you have all the keys jumper cables and car batteries you're going to want to now proceed to the entrance for koshiki complex underneath the rohan oil location once you come in that entrance you're going to want to proceed to this point here that's where you're going to find the security term keep an eye out night vision goggle or allow you to see the infrared lasers at the cache point. Critical in point about this security terminal. The security terminal and the cache are linked together. This unlocks the cache. The cache and the security terminal are linked to your account. So the person that opens the security terminal must be the person that opens the cache. And that's very, very important to understand. So when you're here, get every single player on your team to interact with the security terminal and unlock it. Because that means you, when you get down to the cache, you will have three chances in order to open the cache. Once you're done with the security terminal, you want to proceed to the door to the factory, which you're going to need your jumper cables and battery and then you're going to proceed to the alpha cluster which you're also going to need a jumper cables and battery once you get into the alpha cluster you want to get down to these doors down on the south and open any one of them but you're going to need your l2 r2 restricted key or you're going to need a skeleton key once you're there you're going to proceed down into this space that is where the cache is located once you get to the cache there is a glitch where pc players cannot see the lasers this is a known glitch for pc players so don't worry about it once you get in the door you want to get to the corner of this box right here and you want to jump on top of that box once you're on top of that box you can leap across the top of the computer monitor across the way and you can still get the cash once you get the cash and the documents inside you'll have this mission complete what you have to do now is exfil if you like this video and it helps you out i appreciate it give a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe turn your notifications on because grandpa's gaming garage is doing all the dmz missions thanks for watching enjoy the game